Hello, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your monthly reading for July, and it is a big month, lots of things happening. But I kind of get, you know, um, in terms of the astrology happening, we have the nodes of fate and destiny changing sign signs into Aries and Libra, so fire and air, that you'll probably notice that that shift that's happening mid-July and actually probably flows quite well with your energy, actually. So... Yeah, this should be quite a positive shift and change for you, I would say. We have a new moon in Cancer, beautiful new moon in Cancer happening on the 17th. As you know, the moon rules Cancer. So this is a very beautiful time to set some new intentions. And a full moon in Capricorn on the 4th. So we've got lots of happening. Venus goes retrograde, the planet of love and money and what it is that you're attracting into your world. On the 23rd, Mars moves into Virgo as well later in the month. So there's a lot happening and we have four of shells, soul searching and reevaluation coming through this beautiful little, I don't even know what sort of bird that is, but it's, um, it's just very calmly sitting there in the waters, the waters of Cancer. We are in Cancer season, then we move into Leo, the fire of Leo, which is a very compatible energy for you guys. So it's, very much, I feel this is more of thoughtful reflection while you're in the cancer energy, the cancer season, and it's thoughtful reflection that could lead to a reevaluation. There's potentially something that feels like a longing is the words that I'm getting, you're longing for something. And so listen to what that is. And when I was tuning in for your energy, Gemini, I actually felt really good, um, but now I'm tuning in from the, the higher level because it felt like this column of white light just coming down like this. And I get this sense of something wanted to be pulled left or right. Like I wanted to go that way or do a crazy like, you know, I'm a crazy change or something like that. But this energy is keeping you on the path. It's like, no, I'm remaining true to what's soul aligned to me. So even though there's parts of you that might want to kind of for whatever reason not do that I feel like there's this kind of alignment that's coming in with you which is interesting so I feel like this soul searching and the reevaluation is kind of like the prelude to the node shifting and changing sign because that's where you're really understanding where you're moving towards I mean the nodes that are about fate and destiny but it's about soul growth lessons the north node in Aries and release of old karma and past life energy in the south node in Libra so it really has this different sense of purpose that's coming in and I feel like this energy here is you tuning in and connecting to that and even searching for it long longing for it in a way so it's already calling you uh, and if you can't find it it's almost like you're you look you you kind of there's a part of you that knows what it is that you're looking for here so interesting I feel like it calls you before the the door opens and you can see exactly what this is or or how you're going to be working with this energy. So what's shifting and changing for you, Cup 10 Pluto Pisces? Fantastic. So this is the, the Pluto energy is there's a lot of a sense of the Pluto energy is transformation of your happiness, but I'm getting a lot of Scorpio energy, the fact that the South Node is in its final stages of Scorpio. And so it's the a little it's emotional. It is about releasing uh, releasing the old emotions around an old karmic situation in your life. But this almost feels like a new energy here with the four of shells. This is the four of cups. So it feels like there is this sense of looking at how you're feeling, what sort of emotional foundations you're bringing into your world at this moment in time. And Pluto wants to come in and say, well, you know, it's this interesting elliptical orbit, Pluto. It kind of doesn't do the normal round orbit. It goes, wee. So, so it's this sense that when Pluto comes back around again, it's saying to you, you're a different person now to when you potentially were thinking about this and wanting this a long time ago. It's calling, something's calling you back again, but you, this is a different time, place and energy and you are different. So you have an opportunity to change and transform what makes you happy. So it's very emotional energy coming through there for you, Gemini. So I have to excuse the fact that there might be some edits in this because I've just got a bit of a tickly throat. So I'm just <laughs> having to kind of stop a little bit. 
So let's see what is coming through for you. So Gemini, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you the more holistic or even the broader picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Gemini, just take what feels right, leave the rest. Don't take on anything that doesn't resonate or feel right for you. Really trust your intuition. And if it does really resonate, you'd like to explore it further into the future, there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below. The extended readings are now through Patreon. I um, had to let go of my old provider. I just was having too many issues and problems with them. So it's now just viewing it through the Patreon channel and yeah while you're there you might as well have a look at what's around there's no contracts that you're locked into you can cancel your membership straight away after you buy the extended but it's kind of like it's the same price so you might as well have a look and get the benefit of some of that content that's coming through as well eight of swords yeah feeling a little bit restricted here crossed by the judgment card the page of wands this is the north node in aries coming in with this page of wands this is exciting exciting energy coming through the hermit yes again a lot of like soul searching and thinking and reevaluation. we've got this four of cups again coming through so both of these energies the the three of swords the hanged man energy the nine of swords that's libra energy coming in that's moving into the south node and libra and really understanding what that is about and what it's going to do at the first thing that it kind of steps into it is probably show you some of the wounds that have come up around relationships temperance they're saying there's healing involved and potentially rebalancing and this is the card of alignment and we have as an outcome the queen of pentacles beautiful and i just want to pull one more the devil interesting and the Knight of Cups, wow. This is the salve to the wounds of your heart and you're going to see that very clearly here with this Ace of Swords, wow. Very much the element of air is being activated for you on so many different levels. Being an air sign yourself, Gemini, I think this is this is good. It feels like, you know, I can work with this production I can work with this energy. It feels like home base in a way. Situation is the Eight of Swords and this is where so it's kind of moving beyond limitations. Other people's opinions of you, other people's criticisms of you, even your own opinions of, and belief systems within yourself. Are you feeling really restricted or frustrated within a situation? And I always say with this Eight of Swords, the character, the binds around this character are pretty loosely held. This character can get out of the situation at any time. It's just the blindfold on. Perhaps they can't see it at this moment. And you are crossed by the judgment card. So... Judgment energy is pretty, I would say this has got a lot to do with self-judgment, self-criticism, other people's opinion of you with the judgment energy coming through. It may also be that there's just something that you're not wanting to look at as well. It's like, eh, this just seems like a big thing and I don't really want to have to go down that path. But the judgment energy is heralding, wanting to herald a message into you um, well, not into you, but towards you <laughs> in some way. Perhaps it is coming in in a different way. But the the judgment card is like a heralding or a message and it's almost feels like, and that's kind of what the sense is, I feel like you're getting the message or you're searching for that. And that's what I feel like this energy is here. In your conscious mind, you've got the page of wands. So this is um, very adventurous, the pioneer, the little page of wands. It's very... Um, Aries type energy so the north node in Aries is wanting to go explore the desert go into new territories let's see what's out there so it's getting really excited about new sparks new beginnings that are coming through it might just be that you're feeling a bit blocked and can't see it at this moment in time with this energy but it's there with this page of wands it's this little spark that's coming through so something new might be really uh, kind of or someone new might be catching your attention here and you're like I want to go and explore that at the base you've got the hermit card so at you know, again this is a card of soul searching and and looking for the path ahead the hermit is there on top of the mountain searching for the way ahead with the star lantern and you know it's only a small light that's being that's the light's being dimmed here yeah, this is what's happening inside of you. The light's being dimmed and it's like I'm searching, searching for the path ahead. Again, this sense of of searching. And it's it's interesting because I feel like you do move forward with that Knight of Cups there, but it's a little bit of um, 
yeah, it's it's this really interesting energy of, I mean, the hermit represents your divine wisdom guiding you, but it might not be. It's guiding you through and calling you, but at the same time a lot of things aren't clear about where it's taking you. <laughs> Although I do feel like this page of wands here is actually it's either someone coming in or a new message that's exciting that's kind of like, yeah, okay, new path, open up, new sense of purpose. So in the recent past, we have this Four of Cups. This has been lingering a little bit, the Four of Cups. And this is actually a card that does represent cancer, being in cancer season. So it is about emotional foundations and something's been, you know, you can see that a cup's being offered to this person and they've got their arms crossed going, I don't know if I want that. So, yeah, really it's about feeling something out and trusting your feelings and potentially understanding that you might be, your feelings might be saying no to something or someone or just blocking it for whatever reason. So that's kind of an energy that's been there in, in the recent past. Sometimes the Four of Cups comes in when you're bored or restless or just searching for something deeper. So in a way, it's like you can use that energy as a catalyst to go, okay, well, I want to step into something new and exciting like the Page of Wands. So you can use it quite productively. In the near future, I feel this is the Three of Swords and I feel like this is, um, yeah, well, this, I feel like this comes up pretty soon after the node shift sign on the 17th of July into Libra. So this is where some of the things that are coming up that the hermit is seeing and the soul searching and re-evaluation energy is bringing up is some wounds. It's probably the first thing that's showing you what is ready to come out to be cleared and come up and something that's been wounding you for a while. And this could be a long energy. It might have been that it's been around for a long time and it's it's ready for it to come up now um, to be cleared. It feels like it's got a lot of strong energy around toxic relationships or any kind of toxicity that's been in relationship or toxic patterning in some way. So that's that's what it is. But I mean, the three of swords is the three swords piercing the heart. It's about your perception and understanding of it as well. And yeah, like I said, it's up, been out, released to the element of air so that you can get the clarity and understanding so that you can clear it out with the Ace of Swords. So this is, no, I think this is going to be good energy for you. We have the Hanged Man coming through. I mean, I know it's always like we don't want that to come in, the Three of Swords, but I feel like this is a positive that you can, even though it's going to be an interesting journey and it's the start of the journey here with the Ace of Swords and seeing it and understanding it, but what you can do is to be freed from it. It can bring you back to a sense of reconnection that comes in at the end of the cycle. So we're just seeing the very start of the cycle here. But you're presenting as the hanged man, and this is kind of like a stagnant energy. Again, this a lot of this feels very stagnant. It feels like there's an energy around you that's felt old and stagnant and blah, get me out of here kind of thing. So, yeah, that's what the hanged man is. And so, but interesting, the other potential of the hanged man is if you have the patience to kind of sit with something and look at it from and experience it from a different angle, it can be enlightening. Both these cards, like this bottom row, the hanged man, enlightenment, uh, the hermit, wisdom, divine wisdom, the ace of swords, clarity, all of those things are like super clear guiding you here, which is really fantastic. So we have as the energy surrounding you, the nine of swords. Now, this is always like Gemini's worst worst enemy, this nine of swords card in a way, because it's um, where your mind just is racing. It's like racing mind, monkey mind kind of thing where you can't stop thinking about something or it's a problem that is whirling around your head and you have you don't ever land on something or there's just mental exhaustion or overload. This can be stress, worry, anxiety, sleepless nights, but it just feels like there's just a bit of anguish and there's just a lot going on inside your mind here. There's just a lot of information perhaps that you're processing at this moment in time. But hopes and fears, we have the temperance card. That's the thing is you know what it is that you need from the situation. You know, Deep down, you know what you want with the, the hermit here. That wisdom is there. Listen to those messages. And with the hermit energy in that position, it can very much be coming up through like a physical message, like how your body's feeling uh, or some sort of feedback that you're getting physically around what's happening with your health or your yeah, physical reaction. 
So the temperance card is about alignment, which is the energy I was feeling, balance, alignment and health as well with temperance. So this is what I think is really fantastic here is we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Devil and the Knight of Cups. Now, I know you might be going, oh, we've got the Devil and the Three of Swords, but the Queen of Pentacles is the antidote to the Devil. So this is why it's almost like one of those blessings in disguises. It, yeah, it does bring up uncomfortable feelings at first, but you've also got the antidote here with the Queen of Pentacles with these three cards here. You're seeing it, you're knowing it, and this is what's stabilizing. It's creating a stable energy within yourself that you can nurture and grow so that you're not as affected by these energy, these things that have wounded you in the past. So the devil can represent fear. It can represent, again, toxic energy. It can represent anything where you felt really, really stuck and you've stayed in that energy for way too long. So, and I think we're feeling a lot of that at this moment in time because Pluto is retrograding back into Capricorn. This is a, both of these cards are Capricorn's energy. But because this is kind of like not the first time it's retrograded back, I've always find when it's the second or third time that it, a planet retrogrades, and it only happens to those big major outer planets, that it's easier the second time it comes back and it makes it easier to untangle yourself from these energies that you've stayed in for way too long, the way th the order of things, the way things have been working in your life. And it frees you up to be this knight of cups to move forward into new thresholds, into new areas, and to take your heart, your cup, the cup that you want. You're like, this is my cup. This is how I'm feeling. And this is what I'm searching for. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for romance. I'm looking for my hopes and dreams and passions. I'm looking for what feels right for me. So it really feels like there's something that gets freed up emotionally here where you're no longer stuck. It's like beautiful energy to come through here with this Knight of Cups. And so, yeah, with the Ace of Swords as the overall energy, fantastic, Gemini, Ace of Air coming in. So, again, it's your birthright to claim your truth and what is true for you and what lies inside your mind and what you are creating in your world at this moment in time. So they're the, the words that I was kind of given. And it's kind of interesting. If we look at the rocky crags of the Ace of Swords, it's very reminiscent of the the icy peaks of the hermit, they're kind of inhospitable and inhabitable areas where potentially it's there's been some kind of distance or coolness or something's just felt like, yeah, the, this is the ice melting. Uh, if, so within your emotions and within your heart space and to be able to look at that and see that clearly. So, yeah, it's... um. I mean, I just have to like, they're kind of reiterating that this is the start of the journey here, but the Knight of Cups is very much, this just feels good moving forward with how you're feeling about a situation or a person. So let's pull a card, affirmation card for you, Gemini. So let's see, what did we get? We've got, I forgive myself. Okay, so this is really important energy. Forgiveness is actually really important energy when it comes to Pisces and you are crowned by this Pluto Pisces. So that might be part of the energy that's coming in with it. Maybe you've held on to something too long and perhaps you're punishing yourself, whether you're aware of it or not, or you haven't forgiven yourself. So it says, as I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and I'm free to love myself. That's what the Knight of Cups is, moving forward into freedom, to love yourself, to do something that you love, to connect to things that you love on a different level. You're exploring new territories when it comes to that. So, yeah, it's. Um, I think it's it's really beautiful energy. It kind of feels exciting. There's a lot of new fresh energy coming in around that once we move past that devil energy. Yes, so look, we've got the padlock. Something's been locked up. This energy of something being quite icy or inhospitable or trapped with the aid of swords, Something here has been very much like this is constricted energy where you're holding things in or that the solution hasn't been there for whatever reason. This is ready to be unlocked and f to free you from this energy. So that's your reading, Gemini. Thanks so much for joining me.
Uh, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now where we're going to see where this is going because it has this real sense of, like I said, moving into new emotional territories with the Knight of Cups that is going to feel so much different and so more aligned to you and your personal truth. So we're going to explore this. We're going to ask what it is that you need to know, where this is going into the future, beyond. And so as mentioned, we're going to ask for any clarifiers, although we might not need much with the Ace of Swords there. That usually would say there's a lot of clarity coming through in your life, as particularly around relationships and relationship patternings coming through. And just some general messages about working with this energy. So that's all in the extended reading. Would love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. Like I mentioned, it's through the Patreon channel. And love it if you come over and check that out. And please like, subscribe. I've already just said that. So please take care, Gemini.